Democrats will stop at nothing to get Trump impeached. Harvard and Yale play a critical game, but the real action was at halftime. Democrats don't know what a debate is or what qualifications are. U.S. politics have gone to crap, and Israel may be right behind them. All this coming up. Remember when the Russia incident went down? Well, now Democrats think the Ukraine is getting involved in our election process. Democrats are trying to impeach Trump for engaging in a quid pro quo by stopping military support in order to make Joe Biden look bad, as if he doesn't do it to himself already. Not by exposing Joe Biden, but his son. EU Ambassador Gordon Sunland is the only testifier, and here's what he said. So this is in respect to Trump's attorney. Giuliani's requests were quid pro quo for arranging a White House visit for President Zelensky. Mr. Giuliani demanded the Ukraine make a public statement announcing investigation of the 2016 election DNC server in Burisma. Mr. Giuliani was expressing the desires of the President of the United States. And we knew these investigations were important to the President. So we have the Ukraine potentially meddling in our election process. But the left is too busy focusing on one of the best presidents with the worst mouths. Now I get to talk about this mess. Harvard and Yale were playing a football game with Yale, playing for a conference title. And at halftime, protesters sat at the 50-yard line, and after an hour of delaying the game, 50 of the 150 were arrested. Why the protest? Climate change, of course. Remember, these are the same people who literally taped themselves to government buildings in New York and Washington. I will now go ahead and debunk this issue and show what non-issue this is. So, in a study by currentresults.com, we have data since 1880, and it shows that the temperature of the global climate has only changed by 1.41 degrees Fahrenheit. Over 140 years, that is 0.01 degrees per year. So everybody out here saying that New York is going to be underwater in 2050, I'm sorry, the global climate is only going to be 58.42 degrees, like 0.3 degrees higher. So no, New York is not going to be underwater in 2050. Now for the fun part of the show where I get to talk about the Democratic debate that happened recently. So... We have Trump winning in most swing states, less than 50%. But the Democrats, oh boy. Trump is around 47, 48%. Well, Joe Biden's at 44%. Elizabeth Warren is at 43%. Bernie Sanders is at 41%. And Pete Buttigieg is at 39%. And what was the last debate over? Well, it wasn't really a debate. And... Let me tell you what, I don't think these Democrats know what qualifications for the United States leader is. Pete Buttigieg, his qualifications, he states that his qualifications are that he is gay and that he is poor. We are going to vote the poorest person on the panel to run our economy. Okay? Okay. Elizabeth Warren and Kamala Harris, their qualifications, I guess, are that they're women and Kamala Harris is black. That is lit they have literally stated that. That is one of their qualifications. I don't believe this. I really don't. Not to mention that Elizabeth Warren has stolen pretty much everything that she has in ideology from Bernie Sanders, who found out that he can't pay his employees $15 an hour without cutting their hours. And I cannot wait until the next debate comes. And I'm not going to lie, the people who were facilitating the debate weren't much better. CNBC, MSNBC actually, was facilitating the debate. And Andrew Yang went on CNN, CNN, 
and said we would rather have you guys facilitating the debate than MSNBC. Do you know what that means? If CNN isn't the worst at facilitating something, it blows my mind. I know this is a Democrat debate. I know CNN is left. But really, there was no debating to be had. They were pretty much holding hands and singing kumbaya, if I may quote Ben Shapiro. I mean... What do they have in common? They like bashing Trump. Is that really the only thing they have in common? Other than they're, they can they can claim victim status because a minority of America is oppressed according to them at least? Institutional racism does not exist. I'm going to quote Shapiro again and say, Show me where it is so I can fight it with you. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in hot water as the third election this year is being held. Netanyahu is being charged with bribery for helping Telcom, a voice transceiver company, in exchange for a website advertisement, as well as two counts of fraud for hampering in a newspaper for good publicity from a rival newspaper and accepting gifts, such as cigars and champagne, illegally, from an Australian billionaire and from some Hollywood executives. That's all the news that I have for today, but until next time, happy Thanksgiving to all of you.